The former secretary to defrocked American Cardinal Theodore McCarrick has released excerpts of confidential correspondence between top Vatican leaders. The letters and emails reveal the extent, a lack of enforcement of the restrictions placed on McCarrick after allegations of sexual misconduct. CBS News foreign correspondent Seth Doan sat down with the man, Monsignor Anthony Figueredo, to talk about those letters. The lack of accountability and the lack of someone who really follows the enforcement of restrictions at the local level. I would be part of the cover-up if I simply kept that correspondence to myself. McCarrick has been defrocked, the ultimate punishment that the church can impose. So what would this change? We're not talking specifically about McCarrick, we're talking about future cases. Perhaps there are other bishops out there who have had restrictions imposed upon them. Uh, th this is why this needs to come out. What is it that we fail to do? Who knew what and when? And why were these restrictions not enforced? Restrictions were imposed back in 2008. They followed accusations, allegations, and settled settlements by two dioceses, which means there was something serious going on. At the same time, McCarrick was allowed to continue his travels, to meet here in Rome with high-ranking officials, including, you know, the secretaries of state. The existence of these restrictions has been reported now. We also knew that McCarrick continued to travel. So what's new in the letters you're releasing? Well, I think it shows very clearly who did know what and when. And I think it shows very clearly that, in fact, McCarrick not only was not stopped, but in a real sense continued his activity to an ever greater degree.